Hello all, Shoestring here. We're walking into the carport where I keep my truck and some of my lawn equipment. Also some solar panels here. And this is an enclosed area right here. This is not heated, it's not cooled. And we are here to look at this charge controller. A six month review on my Elnex, I think that's how you pronounce it, charge controller. About six months ago, I did an unboxing, show you how to operate it, how to hook it up. But I wasn't sure if all the requirements they said, everything they said it would do, would actually, well, do. So, it said all temperature, all weather. So, I have it out here in my carport. It's not air conditioned. It's not <laughs> heated. It's just out in the elements to see how this functions. And so far, I have to admit, for the price, it's very inexpensive. It's a nice way of saying cheap, of course. It works very, very well. Uh, it hasn't given me any problems. Point out a couple things to you right off the bat is, yes, they sent this to me. It doesn't change my reviews on anything. All of I've, I've seen are under $40, so they're inexpensive. Another way to say cheap, right? It's 10 amps, as you can see right there. It will do 12 and 24 volts, like most of them will. It works really well. You can do, let me set it down right here for you. I've got it hooked up just so you'll see. It's got four wet lead acid batteries. And I have it connected to about 75 watts worth of solar panels. And as you can see, it's early in the morning. It's been running all night, so it is still just trying to charge up after running through last night. Okay, set it right up there on that battery where you can see it just a little better. And uh, you should know it's a PMW. All right, so it's not the fanciest type of charge controller, but you can't expect that for the price. It will do uh, lithium and, of course, AGM gel flooded. In fact, I have a lithium battery right over there. There it is, which I do use occasionally when the power goes down and these get weak because lithium batteries, you can use up to 100% of their power. These wet lead acid, you shouldn't use more than 50. You really shouldn't use more than 80. But if you need to, you need to. Anyway, these batteries, of course, have to be, uh, they're wet. So you have to check the bat, you have to check the water and you have to make sure the fluids are good and do all your normal maintenance. Right now we're talking about the charge controller. I veer off and do things. Okay. But it's extremely thin, by the way, and I like that. It's very thin. You can see that. One downside, if you want to call it a downside, it's on the back. See there? You have to take all those screws out to put in your wires. And sometimes that can be a bit of a pain. As you see, I don't have the have it cranked all the way down because I'm probably not going to leave it permanently laying out here. I'm going to put it up on the wall someplace. But right now, this is just a test. But you do have to take this back all the way off. And of course, they have places for screws right here, which they don't send you, by the way. So you can install it wherever you want to. But so far, it's been out here in actual all weather, even though I haven't set it out in the rain. And it's worked, worked really, really well. So like I said, this is just our six month test. Uh, everything I've tested it on, Temperature protection, over voltage, over current, overcharging, all the little tests I do to things to see if I'm going to blow them up. It actually works. If you like these type of videos, then uh, please subscribe, like, send it to your friends. That really helps the channel. But I just don't take this into a studio or a laboratory somewhere, hook it up to computers and do all kinds of testing like that for you guys to see. I want to do real world testing. So if it says all weather, I take it out in all weather and see if it'll work. That's what I do to show you how things actually function in the real world. 
but this has worked when I've had it exposed to water sprays. It has had some rain fall on it, not a lot. When I noticed the rain, I moved it in, but it did work well. So this is your six month follow-up. I told you I would take it out here and test it, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I've tested it first on my lithium battery, and it worked just fine, worked great. And I now have it on my wet lead acid, and it is still working great. Wet lead acid and a cheap right there, Chinese inverter. Okay, if you have any questions, any comments, put it down below. Please subscribe and like it and shoestring.